Today is the day you begin your subcutaneous immunotherapy or allergy injections. The purpose of allergy injections is to decrease your sensitivity to allergy-causing substances so that exposure to the offending allergens will hopefully result in fewer and less severe symptoms. This does not mean immunotherapy is a substitute for avoidance of known allergens or for the use of allergy medications, but rather a supplement to those treatment measures. Allergy injections have been shown to lead to an alteration of your immune system's response to naturally occurring allergens. These alterations may permit you to tolerate exposure to the allergen with fewer symptoms. You, in effect, become immune to the allergen. The response is different for each person, and it can take three to five years to reach maximum effectiveness of your immunotherapy injections. Each time you come to Carolina Asthma and Allergy Center to receive your allergy shot, you will be asked a series of questions. A patient's serum is made specifically for you, and we want to make sure that we are giving the right person the right shot every time. This is why we have you scan your unique barcode, tell us your date of birth, and we'll take your picture to use as a third form of identification. We ask this because if your immune system is already working to fight something off, we don't want to add more for it to work on because this may cause an increase in the chance of having reactions or cause you to be sicker longer. We like our patients to have only one type of shot per day. This way we can make certain that if you had a reaction or any side effects, which are very rare, we will know what it was from. If you were to have another injection the same day, we might have to perform testing to see if the reaction could have come from the other injection, and it could cause us to have to drop back in your buildup schedule to ensure your safety. If you have started on an antibiotic or steroid recently, your immune system is already working hard. We want you to wait until you have been on the antibiotic or steroid at least three days and are feeling better before you come in for a shot. These types of medications may interfere with the epinephrine that we might need to give to treat you if you were having a systemic reaction. If you are put on a beta blocker, we will need to stop your shots and contact the prescribing doctor to see if there's a different class of medication that can be prescribed to treat your condition. If we are not able to switch the medication, we will need to notify your allergist. They will help us to determine if you should continue shots, in which case you will need to sign a waiver due to the increased risk, or if we need to choose another treatment for your allergies that does not have the risks associated with taking a beta blocker while being on allergy shots. Exposing you to additional allergens when you are having trouble breathing, wheezing, or have had to use your emergency inhaler can put you at higher risk for a severe reaction. We do not want you to receive shots on a day when you are having trouble with your breathing or have had to use your emergency inhaler. Also, asthma patients need to be aware that if you use your albuterol inhaler prophylactically before exercise or gym class, and not as a rescue need, you can still get your allergy shot later that day. If you are pregnant, we will need to inform your allergist before continuing your injections. We do not want your heart rate to be elevated during your shot. This can lead to a fast absorption of your injections into your system, resulting in a systemic reaction. We do not want patients exercising for one to two hours before and after getting their shot because an increase in heart rate and blood pressure can cause increased blood flow through the tissues and theoretically lead to increased absorption of serum, which could possibly lead to a reaction. When you come to our office for your allergy shots, you will scan your card at each visit. This lets us know you are here for your allergy shot. You then sit down and wait in the waiting room. We try to go in order of patients signing in, but external circumstances may come into play. During the build-up process, you will need to come at regular intervals to get your maintenance dose. We will give you a small amount of the allergen and slowly increase over time. Think of it as stair steps. Each time you come in on time and you haven't had a reaction and are doing well with your shots, we will move you up to the next step. From time to time, your vials will run out and we will need to order new vials. How frequently we need to order will depend on how often you're getting shots. When you start the new vial, you will need to drop back two doses and build back up every two to seven days until you are back to your maintenance. This will occur every time you start a new vial of serum. Environmental allergy shots require you to come in every two to seven days, Vespids every seven to nine days, and Fire Ants every five to seven days. You may be late on getting your shot from time to time. We understand that life happens, but we have a drop back schedule. If it has been over seven days for your environmental shots, we will repeat your last dose, meaning you will stay on the same step. 
If it has been 14 days or more, we will drop back one step. For 21 days or more, we will drop back two steps, and so on. If it has been more than 90 days, we will have to check with your doctor before starting you back on shots. Once you get to your maintenance dose, the top of the staircase, we will space your shots out some. How much we space them out and how often those intervals occur will depend on how you are doing and what your doctor feels is best for you individually. Not everyone will get to the top of the staircase, meaning not everyone will have the same maintenance dose. Our shot room staff will work with you and our providers to help them determine what is the best maintenance for you. After your injections, you will need to remain in our office for an observation period. All patients receiving immunotherapy injections should wait a minimum of 30 minutes following their injection after every injection. You will see patients get their injection and then leave, but that is not what we want you to do. We cannot hold you here, but in most cases if you were to have a serious reaction, the sooner we can start treating you for it, the sooner we can get it to resolve. If you have a reaction, you may be asked to remain in the clinic longer. We want you to understand that there are two types of reactions that can occur. Swelling, itching, and or redness just at the injection site. We will ask how long it lasted as well as how large it got and what made it better, if anything. Generally, if the reaction is smaller than a half dollar and lasts less than 48 hours, we will not make any adjustments to your dosing. But that will depend on your physician and your level of discomfort with the reactions. Although these reactions are not generally a cause to worry, it is important that you keep us updated on how often you are having them and how long they are lasting. This will help us determine what we can do to help and when we would need to contact your doctor about them. There are a couple of different things we can do to help with these. You can take an over-the-counter antihistamine at least one hour prior to your shot. You can apply ice directly to the injection site after the shot is given. We have these ice packs in our clinic and are happy to distribute them upon request. If the above interventions fail, we can change to dry needles, meaning that the needle that was dipped into the serum to draw up your injection is changed out to a needle that has not touched the serum prior to giving your injection. This would mean that the needle that touches your skin is dry, i.e. has not come into contact with your allergens. These reactions are rare but are very important to understand because of the potential danger they can cause. A sudden increase in allergy asthma symptoms, whole arm swelling, body swelling, hives on body other than the injection site, itchy all over, itchy hands, feet or mouth, tightness in chest, throat closing or difficulty breathing, nausea, vomiting or just a general feeling of being unwell. Also, if you just feel that you've had a change since your injection, you should come back into the shot room right away. If you were feeling fine, got your shot, and suddenly your ears feel full, you have drainage, itchy eyes, sneezing, coughing, please just come back through the doors and let us examine you. We would rather have you come back in to let us know you may be having a reaction than to wait and allow it to get worse. As stated earlier, the sooner we can treat these reactions, the more quickly and better chance we have of getting them to resolve. If you feel any of these symptoms after you leave the office, go straight to the ER. Do not come back to our office. I'm going to repeat this. Do not come back to our office. The time that is spent getting back to our office is valuable time that you should be being treated. If you are alone and feel poorly after your shot, please call 911 immediately. If you are having shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, administer epinephrine or Benadryl as prescribed by your doctor. Need help keeping track of your allergy shot schedule? Well, there's an app for that, and we offer it to all shot patients. With the Visionary Allergy Tracker app, you can review your injection history and future shots, receive notifications to remind you of upcoming or overdue shots, and even view our office locations and shot room hours. Thank you for watching this important video about your health.